Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name is Josh. I was going to drop the Malini Cicciati video today, but I said, hey, it's Valentine's Day. And of course, as any loving husband would, I forgot it was Valentine's Day. <laughs> So I have to go to get some roses and shit like that today. Anyway, it is Valentine's Day and I wanted to cover a love story for the ages. And uh, who better than Shannon Rose and what's going on over there? <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Let's go. So if you don't know who Shannon Rose was, she's an ex-porn star who did some crazy stuff in her past, and she wrote some books. She actually sent me the books, and I'm not going to read them, because who has time to read books? Audible or bust, baby. So I, I did um, get the books, and so thanks, Shannon, for sending me your books. Today we're covering her video called Taking the Kids, Leaving Him. Something tells me something's up. Well, like, we know that the relationship is crazy. Uh, to, the fact that they've stayed together this long actually probably means that they are compatible. I know that sounds crazy, people, but it means that they're compatible. Like, they have like-minded beliefs, probably. He doesn't have to work. He can, you know, apparently he's he's a decent dad to his kids. I'm not saying that Shannon and, and Charles or Ray or whatever his name is or Kinky or Kyle. What is his name? Whatever. Um, th they probably are pretty good parents as far as I'm aware, except for, you know, the old hand on the fireplace, burning the shit off their kid's hand. That's an accident. I get it. Um, that's why I didn't cover that stuff. Cause not really, I don't think that stuff's super important except for the fact that, yeah, they did cover it, put it on their channel and they did exploit it. So yeah, it's just as bad, but all that to say, um, <laughs> let's see what's going on over here. Uh, something tells me that okay, baby started something. Cause I know that there can, I know that Shannon Rose connected herself to every family vlogger in the world. Like she just grifted and latched for her own fame and that's that was her her way of getting to where she got and now she's basically nothing because no one wants to be associated with her for good reason and so what i think was happening okay baby did this thing and i would not be surprised if you're going to see a bunch of family vloggers who have no moral compass or value start saying we broke up too because it got okay baby a huge boost in views i get tons of views covering them and i was like really why? Because it's interesting. This shit is the next step in family vlogging. It's the Heartbreak Hotel series for all the family vloggers who actually aren't really together. They're going to start monetizing the breakups, which I have to say is probably a good thing because at least they're being honest now. And also that's, you know, a quick way to stop the shit because OK Baby is going to be flailing and they're going to fizzle out very fast because nobody wants to watch that shit. It's honestly scary. The people that go to these vlogs for the kids, what adult, okay, is watching these kids and why is it you, like, why would you leave? Cause you can't watch someone else's kids grow up. How effing weird, put that in your perspective for a second and smoke it. Okay. How weird for you, how creepy and weird for you, you weirdo, creepy people. And it's Valentine's day. So let's get to this damn video and talk about love. <laughs> Cause something tells me it's fake as shit. Shannon Rose, like I, I get that you lived in a world where everything mattered about makeup and everything. And I'm kind of glad that you don't do it every day, but maybe just put some clothes on too. Like meet halfway with me. <laughs> and people are like, Josh, you never, you're never happy. Either they wear too much makeup and they have too much filler or they don't wear enough and you hate them. Yeah. The reason is because they exploit their kids. So nothing they ever do will not be part of the snark people understand it put it in there leave it in there dummy i have that suitcase up to leave only it's yellow i know she went super hippie the hippies don't wear bras either do they and i know she uses like people have been sending me her instagrams where she's making like reusable toilet paper and stuff like that like That we need to get out of here. So you're going to pack a couple of sweaters. <laughs> oh, this music's... We're leaving. We're running away. Deedle do 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 <laughs> Something tells me it's they're going just to 
to chill. Like they're going to hang up with their mother or something. There's no way. What are they going to do without each other? <laughs> Who's going to take care of the kids so Shannon can vlog? So there's been some things going on lately that are making us... You look like you're going away for a while there with three garments. Need hair without him. No. Why does she have... What is that there? She's got... Is that a baby monitor? Oh, what is that? It looks like a modem. It's like an Apple Mini. Like a Mac Mini. I can see it. What was that? That's creepy. I'm not gonna lie. That's that's inappropriate. Her kid's like, nah, she didn't say anything about her dad, but it's like, daddy's not coming. Okay, well, don't do that. Don't do that with kids on camera. Don't do it. Don't do it. I forgot some. You forgot the underwear. This is so weird. Again, guys, you have to realize something. This stuff, and then, oh, it's all sad, and her fans are like, we're so in support of you. You have to set up a camera in every angle she's doing this. So is it genuine? No, it's not genuine. This is fake. Guys, it's a vlog. If you have to set up a camera during, like, a really hard time in your life, it's not real anymore. You're exploiting it. So you're going away to Great Wolf Lodge for two days. That was happening. <laughs> And this video is sponsored by Great Wolf Lodge, the best place to take divorced kids. Burn. Frantically trying to pack everything. You're frantically trying to pack everything while setting up a camera in different angles. I believe you. I don't believe you. I think that's a lie. I also think that's a lie. Okay, we're in, we in agreement. Yeah. <laughs> Frantically packing, not so much. Don't forget your camera. Fra oh, okay. That's where that goes. What is that? Seriously, that's, what is it? Is she taking the internet? <laughs> I'm leaving and I'm taking the Wi-Fi, bastard. Changing all the Netflix passwords. <laughs> By the way, it's Valentine's Day, and so if you've got someone in your life who you broke up with because they're a-holes, here's a couple of things you can do to piss them off. Keep the Netflix, Disney, and all the passwords on for a little while, okay? Follow what they're watching, and if they get into a good series, like two episodes in, change everything. <laughs> Burn. You can also have a clearance sale. So on your lawn, if it's not winter, throw all their shit in the lawn, put a big old sign that says free. People will just come pick that shit up because they are, will do that. They'll do it. You can also replace their shampoo with Nair. Be careful though. You can get sued for that. Don't, I, telling you these things for research purposes, don't do them. If you know your significant other is cheating, pull the old switcheroo. You should get their phone while they're in the shower or occupied and you know they're cheating. This is if you know it. I don't know, but if you know it. So you switch the number of their cheating person in their phone to like your, their dad's number or something. <laughs> Satan awakens. Also, there's the old, you know, leave the cheating people and just become your best self. That's always good payback. So there's some, there's some for you. Okay. Swimmy, swanny, swammy, slammy, slammy. Samsonite. I knew it started with an S though. Dumb and dumber. You know, this video is starting off kind of stressful, but this is just- That sweater is starting off kind of stressful or whatever it is you're wearing. That's weird. You look like you live in a compound with people that dress the same way and then you all wear white Nikes. You know, life. So, the kids and I are going to my mom's house and... I called that shit! And we just are getting a little space and time away from Travis. And I'm Travis. And not going to go into specific details. Knew it started with a T. But I think that we just need some time away for a little bit. Okay. Um, Why would you title this thing taking the kids and leaving him? You said you're just going here for a couple of days. So that's a lie. That's that clickbait is gross, by the way. Don't do that. Yeah. I hope she doesn't like continue to talk about this with her kid right there. I know this kid can hardly understand, but kids can sort of understand. So I hope she doesn't. Yeah. We've discussed this, Travis and I. I think it's kind of just good for you put soap on your lips. That's weird. Our mental health. We're together 24-7. We love each other very much, but we need just some time away. Okay, so that's what I said. 
So why are you calling it take the kids and leaving him? She's capitalizing off this okay baby thing. And you're going to see this. People will actually start lying for the clicks and views. Now, this is the next step of family vlogging. This evolution. It's because I, I was so late into the family vlogging world. I now know every effing trick in their book. They do the exact same tricks every single time. It comes to the periods, kids proms going to the hospital, dentist, they all have the same thumbnails, same titles, everything. Their tricks are all out there. This is the next one. You watch taking a break, getting divorced, separating, and it's all going to be a big giant effing lie. They're just going to be like, oh, I'm going to 7-Eleven to get a Slurpee for an hour. That's what it's going to be. And this, stop doing this. Oh, these people will stop at nothing. They will, they will, there's no depths to which they will not go for clickbait. This is sick. And Travis has a lot of things to do at the house that needs to get done. And I think it'll just be good for him to be able to get those things done if we're not here. And the kids aren't here. Um, he's just been kind of like moody and grouchy lately and not nice to be around. And I you, This is probably the 10th video you've done about how Travis is the worst person on earth. He, he, I mean, does he do videos about you, how you're the per worst person on earth? Because it sounds like you guys are both just... I mean, it's not like you're incompatible. It just sounds like you're both kind of buttholes to each other, which is whatever. If that's how you live, that's how you live. But she's sitting here whispering with Travis while Travis is probably in the house. So it's, this is exactly what's happening. Travis needs to get some things done, right? Shannon's like, if you're not going to work, then I need these things done around the house. Travis's like, well, I watch the kids all day while you vlog. So I am doing stuff around the house. And she's like, okay, I'm going to get the kids out of the house for two days while you get to do those things that you need to fix. That's what's happening right here. That's normal. Why would you title your video like that? I've had enough and I'm like, we're getting out of here. I don't want to be around negativity. I don't want the kids to be around negativity. And you're sitting there. I don't want the kids to be around negativity. So you're saying it while you're, she's sitting there with you. Okay. And if he's being negative because he needs some time alone. Then Is it cold in there? <laughs> so that's kind of what's going on. Okay. So all you had to do was say in the title of the video, taking the kids away for the weekend so Travis can get shit done. Boom. People still might watch it or not. They probably won't. The reason that people like her and Jess fam and everybody clickbait their titles is people are like, what is going on? Like the, our life is the worst for this. The, our life will give you a 20 minute video of them going to Starbucks, Target, Walmart, and what they're doing around the house. And then in t one minute of video, they'll tell you the thing that's in the title. And it usually is nothing. It's nothing like the title says. This is actually against YouTube's terms of service, but YouTube never, ever does anything about it generally. If you if he knows you're talking about him, why are you whispering to the camera? It's so weird too, right? She's talking trash with her husband to a camera to thousands of people in a video that her husband probably is going to edit or watch. Okay. We're leaving. Okay, we heard you. Don't sit here and think I'm like trash talking my husband because he knows it and. Oh, does he? So why are you whispering? Okay, he knows it. Does he? No, I'm not. I'm just whispering because I, my vocal cords are flaring. We've talked about this. Have you? He he's being cranky and like negative and all these different things. And something tells me the stress of these channels where they lived the high life for so long, they spent all their money. And now that all these family vlogging channels are actually collapsing, um, these people, their marriages, a lot of them are going to collapse. So, the idea here is twofold or so the problem here is like very, very much. It's very nuanced and very scary because these kids enjoy a great life generally, except for the idea of like their whole world is on the internet. So right now though, the kids don't see any detriment, right? They'll see it later, which is what we, which is why we talk about it now. We're doing it now so that later they might be able to have, mitigate some of the disaster of what happened to their life. But for now, the kids don't see anything wrong with that. If my kids were being family vlogged right now and we were going to Disney every two days and traveling to Hawaii and moving around the world and doing all this RVing and doing all that, they would, that's, that's awesome, right? But again, it doesn't happen until they're later. These people do that. I think a lot of their shit's going to fall apart when the money stops. Most of these people are together because they are together for money. They are professionally married. That's weird, right? You're getting paid to be married on the internet. So when that money train stops... I think it's going to like, you know, compound a lot of the shit and the problems that they had that they were ignoring because they had to ignore it because they were making money. That is why this video is kind of important. He always knows what I'm going to post before he posts it. So, he knows so why are you whispering? Why are you whispering, weirdo? 
making a video and talking about this. So people try to comfort me. <laughs> we put our lives online, you know, like this is something that like we have agreed to and are okay with, you know? Yeah, but those kids are not. Yes, you can as adults do what you've agreed to, but you are agreeing for your kids that can't give informed consent. Hope she says that next. I doubt it though. I won't. That ship will not be here. Like you're waiting at the New York Harbor for Titanic. That's what's happening. <laughs> They're like three days late. I hope everything's okay. Um, what are you holding under? What is happening right now? Can you just stop the camera before I have to get a pad? Okay. This is not one of my pads, um, but I should have some more pads up pretty soon because they all sold out, but uh, this one's okay. That's, that's for uh, catching the flow. It's not bad. I got it on Amazon. I'll link it below if you guys want to. I mean, it's really thick. Does it, um, do you wash it later or throw it out? I suppose the whole idea is that it's reusable, right? Like, do you wash it by hand with a Tide stick or... I don't want to know. Try it out. I had good reviews. I like it. I don't love it. Like, I love my pads better, but... Because she sells them, probably. If mine are sold out and you want to get some pads. <laughs> she does sell them. It's almost like I know these people better than you. I, 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 I can finish their sandwiches. Um, like reusable cloth pads. These are really, really comfortable. And it's like, it's just like reusable diapers, right? Cloth diapers. It's just like a waste thing, right? Instead of throwing them out, you just reuse them. I mean, it's just blood. It's not a big deal. Washable. But it's not, it's not, the thing is, is like, I don't know why this isn't more popular. Again, I don't have a period, so I don't understand, but I, I, I understand the idea that traveling or like if you have an emergency i understand that you might not carry one of those and if you do do you put it in a little bag that's sealed in your back in your purse that's the only thing that grossed me a little bit but otherwise it's just normal bodily function so i understand why this isn't more popular to be honest with you i'm pretty sure they're organic so if you're like organic meaning they're made of cotton so you know wanting to is she putting her underwear with a pad on in front of us on the camera Look, Shen, I know you were in porn, but relax, man. This isn't, this is, okay. Be super health conscious. Honestly, this is weird because this is Shannon Rose is kind of like how my mom was. Like just no shame type of thing growing up. Weird. You'll hear my story someday. I'm sure he can't wait for you to get out either. <laughs> I love him. I do. Oh, More do you? So you're leaving him anything. He's my soulmate. But like I said, we're literally together 24 seven. Like we never get a break from each other. We need this. Also, do you guys want to see what my body looks like postpartum? I haven't showed it in a really long time. So <laughs> leaving my husband forever. It's over. Also postpartum body time. Let's do this. Do -do 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 -do. Storm is almost or he's 11 months. Oh my God. My baby's about to be a year old. And this is what I look like. Um, you guys see? Oh my gosh. 11 months postpartum. Okay. What What does this have to do with the video of you leaving your husband? What, what are you trying to... to what that is that for? Do, why do people want to know this? Is this important to people? But, um, I'm feeling good. Despite all, like, my health problems and everything. Is that a bra? Because that's cool, actually. It's, like, made of fabric that is forms that's cool where do i get one of those for my wife um and i've definitely lost a lot of weight thankfully um what's that supposed to mean is she doing this for real this is just <laughs> oh god so you're saying people that don't lose the baby weight you're shaming them basically i know that's reaching but it's basically this is, again, when, when influencers say shit, they don't ever realize what this could mean for someone watching who might be a fan. And I feel good. Like, I'm happy. You know, I'm not, like, trying to lose weight or um, anything like that. Remember we were told when we were young, when I was growing up, if you get tattoos and stuff in your belly, they're just going to stretch out, loser. They're going to stretch out. I'm pro-tattoo, by the way. Um, but those ta she had two babies. Those tattoos look normal to me. So. Debunked. Uh... I'm used to being pretty thin, 
actually really thin. But like I said, you're still really thin. Not really a priority of mine right now. Just feeling. Except it is a priority because you just showed us your. Oh, I'm really thin. You just showed it off. Healthy and being healthy is my priority, not like so much, um, like what I look like. Does that make sense? No, nothing you ever say makes sense. But I'm used to it now. Hopefully. Anyway. Alright, I'm comfy. This is from Suburban. What kind of video is this? <laughs> I, can't, I can't get over it. I'm leaving my husband forever. Also, here's Post Pardon Body. And here, uh, this is cozy sweater is from Zellers. You can get it for $9.99. But they didn't sponsor me, so go leave them one star ratings. Right? This little set. So comfortable. It's really good quality. Um, okay. And it kind of tells people, like, not to mess with you. <laughs> is that what it is? Okay. All right. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, um, I know. I do. I do know. I don't. I hate you. When you're out and about. I'm going to put deodorant on today because I'm going. God, out. what is wrong with this? When I leave the house, I put deodorant on. When I'm in. Who is watching this and being like, yeah, man, this, this shit's riveting. Get me some more of this shit in my eyes. My eye holes. I need this in my psyche at all times. This is weird. I'm going to have nightmares about this type of shit. In the house, I don't wear deodorant anymore. Why? Deodorant. Why don't you wear deodorant? I'm a little stinker butt. You're a little stinker butt. These are the different deodorants I have. Um, Why you don't use deodorant? Um, you just said you don't use deodorant. And now you're going to use deodorant. That I use. This one. My uh, wife has that one. I'm native. This like cotton lily. Um, I Cotton. And Lily. There's an ampersand or whatever that's called. No, that's not it. What's an ampersand? That's the ad symbol? Damn it. Hey, no, 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 no. Maybe you should just... Okay. I don't, I don't know what you should do. <laughs> Try honey. I don't, Natural honey with charcoal and tree leaves in there. And just crush it up and make a paste. Stick it in the old armpits. I like it. It's okay. It works okay. Where do we go um, from like Pacifica. leaving my husband to putting deodorant on that gives me rashes? I love this. This is so fun. The uh, um, coconut cream deodorant. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna lose my mind, dude. <laughs> Why? I just feel like when I'm around negativity for so long, it like rubs off on me, and like I just can't. I can't anymore. You're not giving. You've said nothing. Okay, whatever. So I'm just like venting it out to you guys right Thanks. now. Thanks. We appreciate it. Thanks. Um, what I was going to say was this Pacifica coconut cream. Why didn't you edit all this shit out? Because she needs a 20 minute video. That's why. I cannot believe the stuff that I watch. The things that I know about some of these people. Now I know the deodorant that you can't use because you have rashes. I hate that I know shit like this. I hate it. It works good. It smells... <laughs> Kind of like Play-Doh to me. It doesn't smell like coconut. You have COVID? Which is so weird. And I love Pacifica. It's like one of my favorite brands. Maybe I am not going to. Got the planet over here. She's literally talking about deodorant for 10 minutes. Mm. I shaved my armpits in a really long time. I'll show you what they look like. I don't want to see your armpits. Don't. Just fast forward. You don't want to see I... my long armpit hair. Why do you um, have armpit hair? I also still have a skin tag on this armpit. I need to try to get off, but this is what my armpit hair looks like. Can you guys see it? That's not. Hold on, let me try to get in close. Oh my god! Yeah, please. I can I smell it from here. Hair, probably barely. What? That's that's you don't have a lot of armpit hair. If you haven't shaved in a long time, that's actually that's she probably has had laser removal of most of the hair in her body because porn stars do that. I guess I was hearing that laser removal is like really good if you don't want to shave. It's stuff. And I actually laser hair removed into male pattern baldness just because I thought it looks cool. There. Male pattern baldness is like the new full head of beautiful hair. Same as dad bod is a new six pack. So I'm kind of ahead of the game. I just did the laser surgery to help with it. The reason there's not a ton of it is because wow. I got laser hair a long time ago, but I need to get like a refresh. I called it. So I yeah. Boom. I know some, see the things that I know is weird that I knew that. Just weird, right? I don't have to shave at all because ain't nobody got time for that. Also, I I'm sure you don't. You don't do anything. You make you reusable 
maxi pads and you garden tomatoes. You don't have a job. What do you mean you have time for that? I have to grab out of my finger today um, with like a very sharp blade. A knife? Uh, okay. What is going on in this video? She's just looking for shit to talk about. Be like, I'm leaving my husband. But first, look at this Chicago steak spice. And then over here, we've got some Vegemite. Hey, can you get back to the thing you're talking about leaving your husband? Yeah, in a second, in a second, in a second. There's a Micah bobblehead. There's a cool thing there. And then over there's things. And creepy mega baby. And I got some hand cream here. It smells really nice. It's the dude stuff. It's just, mm. would you like to see my armpit hair or my other pubes? I have lots of pubes. Who wants to see pubes? Give me a break! Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Uh, it's been a rough morning. Yeah, you said it 38 times already. Anyway. Get out of the house! That's okay. We're going to just breathe out that negativity and breathe in happy thoughts. <laughs> Her nose is like... Positive thoughts. And we're going to put ourselves in a new place with new positive energy and vibes get away from the negativity and our vibes will be good <laughs> no they won't your vibes are garbage so that's what we're doing now let's go is that a t-shirt your vibes are garbage i like that and the devil's just jealous a couple new t-shirts coming your way <clears throat> okay don't forget your camera <laughs> she just sat at the top of the stairs <laughs> There's our YouTube plaques over there. Whew. Crazy. Why didn't Travis? I mean, Travis, you could have just helped her. Maybe he's just like, F you, I'm doing other things. But I get that. Everybody's been married. But even though if I'm mad, I'm still like, I'll take the bag. Give me it. And I'll take it out. I'll be like, Ugh. it's like this picture. I really like this picture. Downstairs. Why don't we go on Google? Let's go. Let's go play with Google for a little bit, okay? Let's go watch Google. Google. Yeah. Google. Why are you going on Google? Okay, come on. Come on. Yeah. Down. <clears throat> this is so weird that you're filming. There's like four angles that she keeps moving the camera to bring suitcases in and out of rooms and things like. It's like when Bits of Breed did the whole video, and she set up a camera before she walked into the house and hugged her husband. I, the, of the last video I ever covered of her, that's the one I did. And it still sits in my mind rent free. That's such an, an enormous moment in their life. That's why I think it's fake. Um, you know, if you are going through a crisis, the last thing you're going to do is set up cameras. That's sorry. Okay. Don't forget your organic raisins and shit. Why is he going to eat? I bet she's going to go full freaking crazy meat eater and like eat in and out and shit like that while you're gone. I wouldn't doubt it. Okay, she's taking the food. Oh, they're talking, so she muted it. Oh. Why are you filming this? There's a lot of beans. This is so dumb. Don't forget the chips. You could just pick some up on the way. It's a lot of beans, man. Maybe the problem in your marriage is you eat too many damn beans and you're farting under the covers too much. Think of the beans. I think I've just found out your marital issues. Farts. Organic farts. They're probably the stinkiest one. People who eat like this, their farts are probably like, what is wrong? I tasted what you ate. need a slider here mom is the radish took me three months enjoy it it's this big <laughs> that we got one little cilantro oh, it's hard to see so one little cilantro <laughs> I don't know so funny. Little cilantro guy very exciting oh uh, and oh yeah uh, leave your husband go i mean what did you expect what did i expect nothing like you know good old valentine's video that's a big old fat lie how do we even know Travis didn't even go with them? It's just, they seemed fine. But uh, that's that's how they seem normally anyway. So stop lying about this shit, please. And uh, maybe stop vlogging. Just go get a job or uh, do something else. Maybe you can go work at a farm. You seem to like farming. Maybe go to school for organic chemistry or some shit. I don't know. 
Stop doing this because you're bad at it. That was terrible. Absolutely ball sack. But happy Valentine's Day to you and yours. May you get some or not if you want it or whatever. It is a uh, day and I wore my pink shirt just for you guys. Boom. So take a deep breath. Oh, it's nice. Breathe in all the bad energy and the vibes and the, just bring the other vibes back. Can I get those vibes? Can I get, can I order some vibes off Uber Eats? Yeah, I'll get some vibes, please. Anyway, guys, don't forget your value. I hope you have an amazing Valentine's Day. It's just made up shitty holiday anyway. But may your husband know enough to get you some shit because you need some shit, right? Chocolates and roses. I just do the traditional stuff just because it's like, I like the, ch when it comes to like those types of holidays that don't really matter, I do like doing the cheesy traditional stuff. Like here's heart-shaped chocolate box with like gourmet chocolates and roses. I know that's cheesy and it's like, oh, it's so, but I actually think we've gotten to the point where that now is endearing, right? I think I'm just being lazy, whatever. You're amazing and I hope you have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. Hey. Happy Valentine's Day from me. Get some if you can or not or whatever.